the focus on improving battery technology has become the primary goal for companies aiming to meet the increasing demand for electric vehicles. Battery life remains a top concern for electric car buyers, as the long-term performance of EVs depends largely on the battery. However, scientists have made significant advancements in extending battery life, with the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle battery industry. Stay tuned for more details. But before we dive in, please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications to stay updated on our future videos. This concept, equivalent to around 70 years of battery life, gained attention, especially when Tesla expressed its interest in producing such a battery. However, it faded from the spotlight almost as quickly as it emerged. Remarkably, leading battery researchers have continued to work quietly on developing batteries with a lifespan of 1 million miles or more. Tesla's battery researchers, led by Professor Jeff Don from Dalhousie University, have now revealed updated test results for their battery cells. Instead of lasting 1 million miles, these batteries are projected to endure 10,000 cycles and provide power for more than 2 million miles, roughly equivalent to 200 years of battery life or 3.5 million kilometers. Jeff Don explained that achieving these results involve pairing an excellent artificial graphite anode with a nickel-manganese cobalt battery, known as NMC532. He also mentioned the use of special additives, particularly in the liquid components of the battery. The fundamental concept involves the separation of two electrodes, utilizing chemicals like methyl acetate to facilitate rapid charging without causing harm to the battery. These batteries are designed to endure 10,000 cycles, assuming a reasonably conservative range of 350 kilometers per cycle. To put it into perspective, if we consider a full charge from 0 to 100%, this equates to 3.5 million kilometers, which clearly surpasses the previously announced 1 million miles. Whether you prefer to express it as 3.5 million kilometers or 2 million, it remains a significant breakthrough. This advancement is substantial because current electric vehicle battery lifespans are typically limited to hundreds of thousands of miles. For instance, Tesla offers a minimum 70% battery retention guarantee over 8 years or 120,000 miles, and GM's Chevy Bolts provide an 8-year, 100,000-mile battery warranty. According to Professor Jeff Dunn, with more careful handling of the cells, especially by avoiding full charge strokes from 0 to 100%, these cells could even endure 15,000 cycles. Graphs published by a source illustrate more consistent cell capacity over 10,000 cycles with a charge stroke from 0 to 80% compared to 0 to 90 or 100%. Maintaining the charge level within the range of 25 to 50% capacity results in almost no degradation, a practice many electric car drivers follow. These batteries would likely last longer and could be repurposed rather than recycled after their initial use. However, these figures assume that the battery remains at a moderate room temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius. At more challenging but realistic temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius, the cells still performed well, enduring 6,500 cycles and retaining over 80% of their initial capacity. Given these impressive range and degradation figures, the question arises whether batteries of such exceptional quality are necessary. Jeff Dunn answers in the affirmative, highlighting the benefits of avoiding recycling and repurposing these durable batteries in new cars or high-demand vehicles like commercial vehicles and electric ferries. In Jeff Dunn's vision of the future, electric vehicles would double as renewable energy storage devices. During periods when renewable energy sources are not producing, the excess energy stored in these long-lasting batteries can be redirected back into the grid, supplying power to homes, buildings, and other grid-connected facilities. This shift from merely consuming energy to becoming an energy source through V2G technology is an exciting prospect. However, the successful implementation of V2G technology will require cooperation and buy-in from energy companies, car manufacturers, and governments. It will also necessitate smart technology and the integration of vehicles with the grid, including bidirectional charging stations to enable the flow of electricity between cars and the grid. Tesla has been somewhat reserved regarding the concept of bidirectional charging, particularly in terms of battery longevity. Nonetheless, this development holds great promise for the future of electric vehicles and renewable energy integration. As a Tesla Model 3 owner, I often look for various accessories for my car. This week I ordered floor mats and was pleasantly surprised that the product arrived soon. In 8 days, the product itself is of high quality and fits my car well. 
I also ordered a central armrest storage box. I ordered five different pieces. They fit my Tesla very well. I ordered from the Tess assortment store. I also liked the support of the store. They answered all my questions. That's why I decided to recommend this store to you and leave in the description under this video the top 10 accessories for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y that I have already ordered. According to sources, Tesla is planning to introduce a bi-directional charging feature in the near future. Furthermore, Tesla's team of battery experts is actively working to develop and implement million-mile batteries for their vehicles, marking a significant technological breakthrough. Notably, electric vehicle companies in China, such as BYD and CATL, are already advertising batteries with a lifespan of 750,000 to 1 million miles, which equates to 5 to 7 Seven decades of typical driving. In the Western market, AGM has stated that its Ultium battery, designed for electric cars, will also last a million miles or 1.6 million kilometers while being more cost-effective and efficient than conventional batteries. Reports predict that by 2030, there will be over 300 million electric vehicles on the road globally, emphasizing the urgent need for large quantities of cost-effective and readily available battery materials. To address these demands, researchers at Drexel University are exploring a new type of battery known as lithium sulfur, which costs $17 per kilowatt hour. This discovery has the potential to revolutionize battery storage. Although lithium sulfur batteries have been considered a promising option for energy storage in recent years, they have not yet been widely adopted. The challenge has been incorporating sulfur into lithium batteries due to a problematic irreversible chemical reaction with intermediate sulfur products, leading to rapid battery failure after just one cycle. However, the team at Drexel University sought to redesign the battery's cathode to prevent these damaging reactions during the charging process. In the process, they stumbled upon a rare chemical phase of sulfur that effectively prevents these reactions, resulting in outstanding battery performance. The cost-effectiveness of lithium sulfur batteries becomes apparent in a world where commodity prices for battery materials are skyrocketing. Sulfur, the tenth most abundant element on Earth, is more readily available than materials like cobalt and nickel and can be sourced as a byproduct of various industrial processes, including petroleum refining. While the price of sulfur has increased by 47% over the last year, it remains relatively low at $382 per metric ton. Comparatively, you can purchase nearly 200 tons of sulfur for the price of one ton of cobalt. Researchers have optimized production costs to make lithium sulfur batteries approximately six times more affordable than Tesla's current 4680 battery, equating to about $17 per kilowatt hour. The introduction of sulfur into the cathode formula can ease the pressure on the electric vehicle supply chain and potentially reduce EV costs. A lithium sulfur battery has a significantly higher energy density compared to a lithium ion battery. For instance, while a 4680 cell has an energy density of 244 watt hours per kilogram, a sulfur battery is estimated to reach around 723 watt hours per kilogram. These lithium sulfur batteries also excel in retaining capacity after numerous cycles of fast charging. They can maintain 91% of their capacity after 170 cycles at a 2 degrees Celsius charging rate and still retain 74% of their initial capacity after a thousand cycles at a 5 degrees Celsius charging rate. The C-rate measures the speed at which a battery is fully charged or discharged, with 1 degrees Celsius indicating a full charge or discharge in one hour. Researchers at Drexel University have demonstrated that the sulfur cathode can endure over 4,000 charge-discharge cycles, indicating a lifespan approximately twice as long as that of lithium-ion batteries. The potential applications for lithium-sulfur batteries are broad, including use in drones and electric planes. In fact, in 2020, LG Energy Solutions installed a lithium-sulfur battery in a high-altitude, solar-powered unmanned aerial vehicle. This battery technology also has the potential to power short-haul flights, cargo vessels, and passenger ferries, thanks to its weight savings, durability, and cost-effectiveness. In addition to this breakthrough, the Drexel team is exploring the development of sodium-sulfur batteries that eliminate the need for lithium, further enhancing environmental friendliness and addressing supply chain challenges. This technology has the potential to revolutionize energy storage, offering lower costs, higher power density, and increased durability. However, further testing outside the lab is needed before it can be widely implemented. GMG and the University of Queensland have initiated a scale-up research project to bring this technology closer to reality. 
These graphene aluminum ion batteries are not only cost-effective, lightweight, and fast to charge, but they also have superior environmental credentials and a longer lifespan compared to conventional lithium-ion batteries. The cost of these graphene-aluminum-ion batteries is remarkably low. The materials used, including natural gas and aluminum, are readily available worldwide, eliminating the need for hard-to-source rare earth elements. Mr. Nichols, CEO of GMG, estimates that these batteries cost approximately 25 cents per kilowatt hour which is nearly four times less than Tesla's 4680 battery. Thus, replacing your battery pack with a graphene aluminum ion one would cost significantly less, making it an affordable option. Charging time is a crucial concern for EV owners, and the graphene aluminum ion batteries developed by GMG claim to charge up to 70 times faster than the best lithium ion cells. This breakthrough offers a promising solution to the time-consuming charging process, making electric vehicles more convenient and efficient. The GMG CEO asserts that this battery charges so rapidly that it essentially functions like a supercapacitor. According to him, it can charge an iPhone coin cell in less than 10 seconds. These characteristics are a notable improvement compared to standard rechargeable lithium-ion coin cells, which typically take 3 to 6 hours to recharge. A significant breakthrough in the weight of GMG's battery is evident when comparing it to Tesla's 4680 battery cell. The Tesla 4680 cell weighs 355 grams, while the graphene aluminum ion cell from GMG is much lighter, weighing only 89 grams. The weight reduction is attributed to a nanotechnology breakthrough achieved through surface perforations of graphene, enabling aluminum atoms to adhere more tightly. This weight reduction is a noteworthy advancement. Furthermore, graphene aluminum ion batteries offer substantial advantages in terms of extended battery life. They have been cycled over 2,000 charge. This charge cycles during testing without any performance degradation. This suggests that these batteries could potentially last up to 45 years, in contrast to lithium-ion batteries, which typically have a lifespan of up to 15 years at best before their performance degrades with repeated charging cycles. Regarding energy density, the prototype graphene aluminum ion cells tested so far have an energy density between 150 and 160 watt-hours per kilogram while Tesla's 4680 batteries offer 260 watt-hours per kilogram. However, GMG's CEO believes that this technology has the potential to achieve three times the energy density of lithium-ion cells. Notably, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory has previously presented an aluminum-ion cell with 1,060 watt-hours per kilogram, while lithium-ion batteries max out at 406 watt-hours per kilogram. Additionally, these cells have a higher power density of 7,000 watts per kilogram, in contrast to lithium-ion batteries, which provide a maximum of 340 watts per kilogram. In terms of safety, GMG's aluminum-ion batteries are considered to be safer than lithium-ion batteries. They are anticipated to be suitable for use in electric vehicles without the need for extensive cooling, as aluminum-ion batteries do not overheat as much as their lithium-ion counterparts. Additionally, they are significantly lighter and more cost-effective, with nearly 20% less weight and cost associated with them. The cooling systems commonly found in lithium-ion battery packs, which contribute to their weight, can be largely eliminated in most use cases of graphene-aluminum-ion batteries. These batteries do not require cooling or heating circuits, which typically account for about 80 kilograms in a 100 kilowatt-hour pack. The environmental impact of graphene-aluminum-ion batteries is significantly reduced due to their production process. The graphene powder, created from natural gas using GMG's patented technique, offers clear environmental advantages. This powder is crushed into pellet shapes and then infused with small aluminum ions. Approximately 90% of aluminum products are currently recycled, and GMG's graphene-aluminum ion batteries can be integrated into this established aluminum recycling cycle. Additionally, the fabrication of these batteries results in the production of hydrogen, which can find further use in the transportation sector to power fuel cell electric vehicles. In practical applications, GMG is actively working on commercial prototypes for coin cells, with plans for customer testing within six months. Similarly, pouch pack commercial prototypes, which can be used in mobile phones and laptops, are in the pipeline and expected to be available for customer testing within 18 months. GMG sees numerous opportunities for this technology in various automotive applications, particularly in scenarios where fast charging and regenerative braking are crucial. The timeline for when graphene-aluminum-ion batteries will enter the market remains uncertain, 
but the technology shows great promise. Whether these batteries will be used in phones or electric vehicles is a matter of interest and preference, and the potential impact on the industry is significant. A remarkable breakthrough in battery technology has been unintentionally discovered by researchers at MIT. This discovery involves a battery that is six times larger than a lithium-ion battery and can be fully charged in less than a minute. The research, led by MIT material chemist Donald Sadaway, focuses on aluminum sulfur batteries, offering the potential for low-cost solutions in large-scale grid storage applications. The new battery comprises aluminum and sulfur as electrodes, with an electrolyte that avoids the flammable organic liquids used in lithium-ion batteries. This breakthrough suggests a potential future for aluminum sulfur batteries as a game-changer in the battery industry. The new battery operates with a molten salt electrolyte, which must be in a liquid state to function. Initially, it operates at the salt's melting point of 110 degrees Celsius. However, the researchers have already managed to lower this melting point to 65 degrees Celsius and are exploring ways to achieve room temperature operation. In terms of cost, what makes this new battery truly exciting is the affordability of its components. The three key ingredients are notably inexpensive and readily available, in contrast to the materials used in lithium-ion batteries, such as lithium, nickel, cobalt, and graphite. Aluminum and sulfur are both cost-effective and easily accessible, with sulfur often being a byproduct of processes like petroleum refining, and common salts readily available. This makes the researchers estimate the cost of an aluminum sulfur battery to be as low as $8.99 per kilowatt hour, which is just 12 to 16% of the cost of today's lithium ion batteries. As for performance, the aluminum sulfur battery already demonstrates an energy density of nearly 530 watt hours per liter, which is on par with standard lithium ion chemistry, and this is in its early stages. There's considerable room for improvement. It's important to note that, when comparing aluminum sulfur to lithium ion, it's like comparing lithium ion in its early stages in 1993. So, further advancements are likely to come. Regarding charging time, the experiments have shown that these battery cells can withstand hundreds of cycles at exceptionally high charging rates. In some cases, they charge to full power in less than a minute. Although the process involves heating, the engineers discovered that the batteries actually perform better at higher temperatures. Operating at 110 degrees Celsius yields a 25 times faster charging rate compared to 25 degrees Celsius, which is a significant breakthrough. One more compelling feature of aluminum sulfur batteries is the use of molten salt as an electrolyte. This was chosen primarily for its low melting point, but it turns out to have an additional advantage, making the batteries inherently safe due to their inherent non-flammable nature. One of the most significant challenges in battery reliability is the formation of dendrites, which are slender spikes of metal that accumulate on one electrode and can eventually extend to connect with the other electrode. This can lead to a short circuit, hampering efficiency and, to put it politely, potentially causing a battery fire. However, the specific salt used in these batteries is effective at preventing this malfunction, particularly the chloroaluminate salts. Another remarkable feature of these batteries is that they do not require an external heat source to maintain their operating temperature. Instead, the heat is naturally generated electrochemically during the charging and discharging of the battery. In practical applications, such as load leveling at a solar generation facility, the daily charge and discharge cycles produce sufficient heat to keep the battery at the required temperature. These aluminum sulfur batteries have the potential for widespread applications with small-scale storage systems, like those with capacities of tens of kilowatt hours, being an ideal fit. This is especially relevant for single-family homes, where a 50 to 100 kilowatt-hour pack could provide power during nighttime or cloudy days. Additionally, these batteries could prove invaluable for electric vehicle charging stations, as they can quickly store and release power, reducing the need for costly infrastructure upgrades. Aluminum sulfur batteries are attractive for electric vehicles and electronic devices, thanks to the thermally stable molten salt electrolyte which is highly resistant to thermal runaway and fires. The technology has already led to the creation of a spin-off company, Avanti, founded by one of the researchers, which holds patents for this battery technology. The real-world application of aluminum sulfur batteries is on the horizon. While they are still in the lab, their potential is gaining momentum. It's not about one technology displacing another, rather, it's about finding the right tool for the job.
just as lithium-ion batteries were initially met with skepticism and later became a game-changer. Aluminum sulfur batteries could be the start of something significant. The future of aluminum sulfur battery technology is yet to be fully realized, and its application in Tesla vehicles or mobile devices remains to be seen. However, as developments continue, these batteries are becoming increasingly promising, offering exciting possibilities for the future.